hi guys welcome to another video on the bougie budget uk channel um today i'm going to do a check-in so i'm going to go through what i have spent this week um and we'll do a couple of savings challenges so i'm just going to move these over i haven't spent that much money this week to be honest but do the video anyway on the topic of videos uh going forward videos will now be up on sundays at 10 a.m i just do not have the time during the week to film i'm i have a busy after work or to be honest i just don't want to do anything <laughs> and i don't have to um so yeah videos will be up sundays 10 a.m i'm filming this on saturday saturday is like my res my designated rest day even though two family members have asked me to do something today so if you know me in real life and you're watching this video don't ask me to do anything on saturdays it's my rest day i don't work out i try not to go anywhere unless it's somewhere i really want to go or if i have an appointment and yeah so i don't mind filming for a few minutes um and then it gives me time to edit and upload the video without feeling like i'm under pressure so sundays 10 a.m is the new upload time okay cash envelopes i don't think i have touched any of them so there's still 50 pounds in food there's 85 in fun 20 40 yeah 80 and there's five pound in change we've got this back in we've got 75 in hair that won't be touched for a while lashes is stuffed digitally 40 pound in nails 38 in pedicures and 50 pound in personal care so i am gonna get lashes done on saturday yeah next week saturday nails done so yeah even though i said oh <laughs> i'm free on saturdays next week saturday i'm not so i'll just film in the morning and get her ready for sunday still get my nails done next week and get a pedicure next week as well because it's very necessary but yeah didn't spend anything in those categories this week can i close this can i there we go and then sinking funds also didn't really touch them haven't spent anything on my baby my nephew eating out haven't spent so there's 50 pounds in there we are however on so sunday the day you're watching this after i go to my pt session in the morning i'm gonna go for a long walk go to the pub that we like to go to now this month i'm really really making a concerted effort with eating healthy exercise all of those good things because i'm going on holiday in april and yeah when i go on holiday for, for me anyway when i go on holiday every day there needs to be looks okay every day you should be not let me not say you i <laughs> you know someone would be like oh when i go on holiday i want to wear my scruffy clothes whatever me personally i like to have looks every single day of the holiday and some of the looks are little pieces of material so i need to be eating healthy exercising and um ready for those looks that i'm going to be given when i'm away next month so that means not really eating out too much so i shouldn't really go to the pub right but my justification or my thought process is that usually i'll go to the pub and I'd eat three courses. I'd have a star, I'd have a roast for main, and then I'd have like a sticky toffee pudding or, I'm sorry, the camera's shaking, um, or a brownie for dessert. I'm not going to do that. I am going to eat break breakfast before I go. So we'd go to PT, come back, have breakfast, go for this walk, and I'm just going to have a main. And I'm gonna, probably going to have like um, a chicken roast. So like chicken and veg basically with Yorkshire puddings I'm not going to drink alcohol um so yeah should be fine and eating out occasionally is fine as well just not overindulging 
say all that to say next week there probably won't be as much money in here i haven't spent any money from gifts home i spent a tenner or 8.99 so i've got 24 in home shopping is the same work lunches i did spend some money so i went to work twice went to witsu because where else am i going to be honest i keep on saying i'm gonna go to tortilla and get a burrito bowl um but again with me being more conscious of what i'm eating it just doesn't fit in in my plan for the day for my meals but we shall see because it'll be nice to mix it up like when i go to itsu now they're like oh hi you're back and i'm like yeah i don't <laughs> i don't like that kind of over familiarity so in work lunches i've got 20 40 60 70 in there and i think the only other one i've spent out oh i did spend 10 pounds out of hair i bought him a load of snacks because he isn't being health conscious so he can eat what he wants so he's got 50 70 90 so i spent 10 pounds out of there um and the only other one i spent out of was subscriptions so i paid for my hey you subscription um which is for me to watch all of the real housewives when they come out through the i spent 45 pounds out of here it's 43.99 for the annual subscription i just took the change and put it into my dish so now that is 10 25 and i think the next one i need to pay for is canva pro i think which is due in may i want to say but who knows i know that i've budgeted correctly so whenever it is due the money will be there all right let's do savings challenges having trouble closing these binders today so savings challenges i haven't spent any money out of anything except holidays so i put 820 pounds that was in here i put that money into the bank and i bought annual travel insurance which was i want to say 74 pounds or 77 somewhere around there i bought it from um money supermarket mm, i can't even remember who the insurer is to be honest i should know this because i work in insurance but I, I can't remember but it was a good deal i added gadget cover it's worldwide including the us mexico and somewhere else and i did want to add winter sports cover um because potentially in my group chat with my friends we've been talking about going skiing in december which i would like to do but you know how these things go right you have the conversation everyone's like yeah let's go let's do it let's do it let's go and then it doesn't happen right so i was like i'm not spending because with the winter sports it was like an extra 40 pound and i was like if it's booked and we definitely decide we're going i'll just add that cover at a later date but i'm not going to spend the money and we don't end up doing it so that's the only one I spent from holidays. What I'm going to do is I looked on the American Express website. Quick story time. Skip ahead like one or two minutes if you don't want to hear it. So back in January, went on to Money Saving Expert and did their eligibility calculator for American Express um, because I wanted to earn points on my flights for Bali because I was spending a lot of money on those flights so I would have earned a considerable amount of points go on there they're like oh yeah you're eligible for the card go on to um the American Express website to double check it's like oh no you're highly unlikely to be approved for this card and I was like what the hell I was like I don't carry a balance on my credit card like I might buy things but I'll pay them off straight away and I have a long credit history, right? So it's not like I've just started taking out credit. I don't miss any payments. And like, I'm very diligent when it comes to my payments. Um, I'm on the electoral roll. I don't have any errors on my credit file. What's going on, right? I told my sister, my sister was like, well, that doesn't make sense because I know people that earn less money than you have 
effed up credit scores or effed up credit history and they have american express credit cards and i was like okay anyway as you know booked my flights and i booked it on a credit card that i've already have that doesn't give points and i just paid it off straight away because i had the cash i just wanted to protect myself because it was a big purchase got to the american express website again this week now it's oh you're highly likely to be approved you could get it like every single card they have you're highly i'm highly likely to be approved for it i'm like nothing's changed <laughs> like I, I apply i did the eligibility calculator before um based on the salary that i still earn nothing's changed right I haven't like there wasn't an adverse history that could have come off in the last month nothing's changed so what i'm gonna do is during the week i'll apply for the card again well I didn't apply in the first place, right? Because I said I wouldn't be accepted before, but I will put in a formal application for the card. Um, and then I'll use that to pay for the hotels that I'm staying in in Bali and the activities. Um, there's something else in here. There's, oh, Lux. I told you guys last week I want to buy the Loewe sunglasses. I get my eyebrows done near the Loewe store on Bond Street so I'm going to go there next week try the sunglasses on if I like them once I get the American Express I'll buy those um I think that's it because you have to spend six grand yeah you have to spend six grand within the first three months and you get a bonus 20,000 points this is the Amex gold preferred card or something like that and what I'll do is I'll just spend all of my everyday spending right like groceries fun like we're going out for to eat tomorrow all of that stuff i'll spend it on my amex but i'll pay it back <laughs> when i get the statement no i'll pay it back before i get the statement if you get an amex i'm not sponsored right but i'm just telling you check the interest rate the interest rate on the card that i'm going to apply for i'm pretty sure was like 70 percent right now imagine you spend six grand and you don't pay it off and they put a 70% interest rate on there. How much is that? Like, pff, maths. What's six times seven? 56. Yeah. No, six times seven is not 56. <laughs> it's 42. It's 42, right? Let me check on my thing. Let me check on my watch. Six, I'm pretty sure six times seven is 42. Yeah. So that, yeah, so six times seven is 42. So if I spent six grand, that's 4,200 pounds that they would add to my credit bill, <laughs> my credit card bill. It's not going to be me, okay? So I'm paying that off every month and I will get the points. I think I get 20,000. I don't know if I said this. You get 20,000 points as an introduction reward if you spend six grand, which works out to like 100 pounds. Um, Amazon voucher. You can get other things on there as well. You can use the points for, you get... Um, access to a lounge but anyway amex isn't paying me so i'm not that's it you can go online and look at it but that's what i will be doing going forward now what's supposed to put five pounds in here i'm not going to do that because i won five pounds on my this is a lottery ticket i just don't want to turn it over on my set for life um ticket i just forgot to take the ticket to the shop to get the money so i will do that so i owe it five pounds and then i think this last one oh it's a tenner okay oh, i think i said it was going to be something else so it's a tenner which i will add actually um from fun yeah okay so from fun I have two pens. So all of this money that's in is that right? Oh, I took. Oh, okay. So I lied. <laughs> I took ten pounds out of food at some point. Do I remember? No. So, oh, Jesus. The money that's in here is what I was going to say. That money is going towards and has been going towards my group PT classes, which I really enjoy. Like, 
I, like I said last week, I really enjoy working out. I always have. I just get lazy sometimes. But not this year. This year, like I said, I've got a lot of holidays to go on. I've I got just London to walk around. <laughs> Every day, the body will be bodying. So that is what I'm putting this money towards. So let's say I completed it, right? I'll put £5 in there next week. So it saved £150. I've spent some of this. But at the moment, I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, which is actually four weeks worth of classes. Yeah, because they're 17 50 each. So that's four weeks worth of classes. That's pretty good. And I think I've got 17 50 still in the bank from this money. Oh, and then I've got a spare fiver. So treat myself to something with a fiver when I get it. So that's that done. I'll take that out. No, I won't. I'll take it out next week and put a fiver in. Then we've got the roll. What am I called? It's not called that, is it? I'm conscious that I've been shaking the camera. Apologies. The Save 200 challenge. So I'm going to roll the dice. Four. This is my change from the week. So I'm going to put four pounds in here. I counted this earlier in the week and there's 35. So now there's 39. And... What I'm going to do now that I finish that other challenge is I'm going to roll a bit more. Roll more time, should I say, and put more money in here because if there's only 39 and we've got 200 pounds to save, be here forever. Um, and I'm impatient. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to say is so with me doing this thing with the Amex and getting the points and all that, God willing, they don't change their mind and decide they don't. They, aren't actually accept to me once i make the application but if they do what i am thinking is still do check-ins but i let me think about this i'm gonna unstuff the money anyway right yeah so when i do the check-ins it will also be a bit of an unstuffing um towards and i'll put that money aside and that will be used to pay off my amex i'm just thinking Bum, bum, bum. yeah so that's what i'll do in the check-ins each week i'll be unstuffing what i've spent during the week putting it to one side to go into the bank at the end of the month or whenever the statement is due to pay the amex off i also had the idea well i didn't have the idea i also was thinking would you guys be interested in me doing a what i saved in the month um video at the end of each month um, so I see people like Iris Budgets, Budget with Ira, who else? 50 Something Budgets, whose channel I really enjoy. Um, and other people, Budget with Kerry, other people do those type of videos where they tally up all of their envelopes for the month. Is that something you'd like me to do? If it is, I will. If it isn't, I won't. Um, but I'm just thinking to mix up the videos a little bit so it's not the same thing all the time. Let me just get this change. There's folds. 55, 57. So, yeah. If that is something that you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments below. And we'll start that from the end of this month, March. So I'm going to put this 57p into my spare change jar. And that is it. I'm going to go and rest. Sorry dirty i'm gonna go and rest for the rest of my saturday do a bit of cleaning edit this video quickly um and then because i have to go out now i have to go out this evening to do something for a family member um but yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying your sunday enjoy the new week once it comes and remember i'll be back next week sunday 10 a.m with a new video bye guys <laughs>